Welcome to the Windows and Computer Channel, and uh, some changes are coming for those that are using the Mail and Calendar app, and in two ways. So, of course, integrated within Windows 10 is Mail and Calendar, and the Mail and Calendar apps have relatively been the same over time. Now, so this is the Mail app, and of course, when you click on the bottom left, you have the ability to go into the calendar app. And so this actually gives you the uh, different options. And I mean, it's not that it's a bad or they aren't bad apps, but, you know, they are probably aren't that popular. Um, the mail app is configured with your basic email when you actually have a Microsoft account and I you know I kind of use it a little bit but I tend to use a lot more the um, online uh, email you know I, I go to the web and, and go to my Gmail and stuff like that most much more now one of the uh, things that's gonna happen first of all is that with the uh, Sun Valley project where all the Windows interface is going to be uh, overhauled we know that the first step is that there will be changes in the look and feel of the calendar and the mail app coming with those capabilities. So that's one thing that's going to happen, first of all, the uh, fact that you're going to be um, having a, a different experience and a different way of actually using the uh, the app itself. Now, one of the things that has been um, going on, and it's a project Microsoft is calling Project Monarch, and basically in a year from now, roughly 2022, the Mail and Calendar app might actually go away and be replaced with something else. And what is it? Microsoft is working hard to make a Outlook-style um, you know, uh, email client. So if you look at Outlook on the web, you will probably notice that Outlook on the web, the way that it is, the way that it is, the feel and the look of the app, um, how it is, is going to be kind of more uniform. So you have, of course, Outlook for those that have Microsoft 365. And you have, of course, the Outlook uh, online app which is what you see here and it is one of those uh, apps actually it says here app available and you can click install outlook and here we go if you install this is uh, an app a web-based app basically of outlook and it's of course a web interface so all of this um, is going to be kind of managed together and have a seamless and same interface uh, it expects, and it is expected to actually make maybe things a little better. Of course, if you're a user of Microsoft 65, 365 uh, Outlook, then having that app also in Windows 10 by default will, and using the Outlook.com website, all of that would kind of look the same, which means that there's not going to be any differences. You won't have to relearn how to do things. So these are changes coming up and uh, from what we learned. So first step... There will be a redesign of the interface a little bit because of the redesign of the user interface coming up in 21H2. But eventually, next year, uh, out the um, mailing calendar app might totally be replaced by uh, what would be called possibly Outlook for Windows 10 and be integrated with the new versions of Windows 10 coming out next year. So uh, some interesting future ahead if you use the email client. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.